this is more water than we're supposed to have. You've probably seen this kind of bilge pump. On our charter boat, the pump was not only broken, but it had failed in such a way that it was letting in a significant amount of water. This is how the pump plumbing is supposed to look. One pump unit attached to two hoses. The intake hose leads from the deepest part of the bilge into the pump. The output hose leads from the pump to a through hole above the water line, which lets the water out. The problem was two pronged. First, the output hose became detached from the pump unit and was lying in the bilge, sloping downward deeper into the bilge so water could easily flow in. The output hose was double hose clamped at the through hull and double hose clamped at the elbow that goes into the pump, but the elbow was attached to the pump using tape. The other problem was that the through hull was only a few inches above the water line. When we were sailing the boat heeled over hard, it was at or below the water line. The sea was flowing into our bilges via a two inch hose. You can see in this video how close the water line got to the output hose through hull, even when that through hull was on the high side. My fix was also two pronged. I reattached the output hose to the bilge pump and used twine to secure it in what felt like a locked position. I added the duct valve back into the assembly and the pump was functional once more. Using two other bits of twine, I tied a bridle so that if the hose became detached from the pump again, it would be suspended high above the through hull and high above the water line and not let in any more water. With that, we were pretty sure we weren't taking on water, although our bilge wouldn't stay dry. Every day we sailed, water worked its way out of hiding spaces just to keep me on my toes, checking the repair and looking for other leaks. At least now I know where the water came from. Honestly, I don't know if there's a moral to the story. I do know that the next time that I'm looking for the source of water in my bilge, I've got a whole new set of through holes that I need to check. All these through holes that are just above the water line but can spend a significant amount of time under the water are all suspect in my mind. You know, the other moral to this story is probably that if, you have, if there's anything suspicious about your charter boat, you should triple check it yourself.